Hey guys, this is your December reading. I know we're 10 days in, but um, I've had a lot of things going on and trying to get things together and straight. I have some some irons in the fire that I have been trying to get together, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I am here right now and um, I will be back um, in the next three or four days with the uh, mid-month readings. All right, let's see. What is the energy around my Capricorns? Energy around Capricorns. Please show me the energy around, okay, something flipped over there. Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. This is your opposite sign right here. Um, feeling kind of bored. Uh, I believe that some of you are wondering if um, that somebody still loves you or if they still have feelings for you. Um, and, and I'm getting that a lot of you probably are daydreaming um, about the what ifs in this connection with this person. But I get the sense that this person is, is probably doing the same thing. Let's see. Who's crossing my Capricorns? Who's crossing Capricorn? King of Pentacles. Hmm. I think both of you are doing the same thing because if you can see these cards and I'll just show them to you because I know they're upside down to you. Is there a glare? Kind of, sort of, but you can see that person glancing up at the cup like, hmm, I care for them. Do they care for me? Do they still like me? And then this is what's crossing. The king is looking in the opposite direction and looking up, daydreaming, wondering. Hmm. So both of you are kind of in the same situation, kind of wondering, you know, if the other person is still there um, emotionally, I feel. Okay. I do feel like you guys are, um, it looks like you, you, you're probably more stable in how you feel. One second, guys. Hey, Google, turn the volume down one notch. Um, it looks like you guys are a little more stable in how you feel um, and how you maneuver. Okay. Um, this other person, they may tend to be a little flaky. I think what you guys are doing right now is kind of like standing your ground because I feel like for the most part, um, you feel that you've done what you're supposed to do. Okay. So both of you are in your own separate corners right now. Let's see. What is the underlying issue here for my Capricorns? Six of Wands. Hmm. I think this is feeling confident. Um, and feeling like, you know, you guys are attractive in general. To be honest with you, I feel like um, there's something about this connection with this person that has really kind of um, lowered your self-esteem a little bit okay um, I think that they don't really give you enough attention and I feel like you guys need that I don't think you're an attention whore by any means but I, I do feel like um, this person maybe neglects you somewhat okay that Leo energy <clears throat> let's see what was going on in the recent past Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. And I feel like it's that person. Okay. <laughs> they did. Piscean energy. Um, they felt like they weren't having their needs met. Um, and they walked away. But now they're sitting and pondering. Oh my God. What did I do? What did I do? Does Capricorn still want me? Do they still have that fire burning for me? Are they still carrying that torch for me? I think this person is rethinking um, a decision that they made. They really are. But I feel like this is the kind of person that, you know, even though they walked away and they probably have regrets, they really don't want you to know that they have regrets is the thing, okay? Let's see. Capricorn's crowning thoughts. Six of Cups. This is your soulmate. I do feel like you guys want to reconnect, want to get back together, um, you know, just want to have a successful relationship with this person. Here, Scorpio energy. 
you see success with them but um, I, I think that for for the most part you guys feel like this person is irresponsible in the way that they behave in a relationship but your feelings are still there for them you still care for them um, you, you still want to be there for them is, is what I'm get, gathering here okay <clears throat> What's coming in for Capricorn? The lovers. Look at that. I like it. Gemini. Hmm. This is, um, I do feel that you guys will reconnect. I do feel this is a, a relationship, a connection that is very, very special. You love this person. I feel like they love you too. They may have, um, they, be, they may be a little less mature than you guys are on an emotional level. Okay. How is Capricorn feeling about their current situation? Judgment. Scorpio energy. <laughs> Something needs to happen. And it needs to happen now. You know, um, I think that y you are ready to move on with your life. And I think you want to move on with them. I know you want to move on, move on with them, rather. Um, but... You're ready for them to decide, you know, that you are um, uh, definitely what they want. Okay? You know what you want. You know what you want to do. If you guys are separated, you definitely want to get back together is what I'm feeling here. But this person needs to decide that that's what they want to. You're not indecisive. I think what you're doing right now is you are standing your ground. Because you feel like you've done... Um, everything that you need to do and that um, this person needs to decide with you that this is what they want to do. Strong Scorpio in your reading. Well, any water energy really I feel. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, uh, and Leo and Virgo in your reading. What is the influence here for Capricorn? Influence for Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you're prepared to move on. I think you don't want to. And that's why you're coming here um, with the Page of Pentacles as your influence. Uh, because you're kind of, you're prepared to move on if you have to. Uh, but I feel like you want, I feel like you want to move on with this person. Um, but you are preparing yourself nonetheless to, to move on. You know, and explore new things. New options, okay? Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Eight of Wands. Hmm. You're hoping that you can move on. Move forward. I'm feeling that, you know, you want to move on together. You know, equal. Eight. Equal. <laughs> eight is an equal number. So, it, you know, it has some semblance of balance. Okay. Um, culmination. And I feel that, you know, you guys are ready to move forward with or without this person, preferably with this person. That is your hope with this person. OK, but if this person doesn't come around and decide that Capricorn is their person, Capricorn is preparing here to move on without them. So cross watchers, beware. <laughs> what is the overall outcome here for Capricorn? Overall outcome for Capricorn. King of Swords. I feel like you would definitely make the right decision. I think you are, um, you know, you, you're thinking about, oh wow. You're thinking about, um, of course, reconnecting, um, that this, this is your soulmate, getting back together, um, you know, having that equal exchange with this person on an emotional level and um, being sex successful with them. My God, I can't talk. But um, these two kings are looking at each other. Yeah, I think you're really at this point um, where you're thinking about, should I stay here? You know, am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my time? But, you know, you have all of these feelings for this person. So um, I don't think you're wasting your time. But it's like, how long do you wait for them? I think that is, is the question uh, here with this King of Swords. We also have Sagittarius energy here, guys. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.